This is what Drayton Dam looked like last summer. This is what it looks like now that the Lowhead Dam project is near completion. We really are modifying these dams for two purposes, public safety to reduce hydraulic roller and reduce drownings in these areas. From an environmentally standpoint, we are trying to increase river connectivity. We place fill material with large rock and create steps for those fish to be able to migrate up. Drayton Dam was an aging infrastructure, the last of eight lowhead dams built on the Red River since the early 1900s. As biologists, we're looking at the whole ecosystem and given that this was the last dam to be modified on the Red River, the very farthest downstream dam, we felt that from an ecological system, the whole system view, that this was the biggest, best mitigation for those impacts from Fargo Diversion. Before this project took place, the dam was a barrier to fish. Connecting the upstream with the downstream, it allows various fish species to now cross and, and move further upstream um, at, at more times of the year and, and on more years when there's low flow instead of high flow. It's really allowing catfish, lake sturgeon, and all species really in the river to fulfill their life history, to fulfill what they are programmed by nature to do, to move upstream into those tributaries, to reproduce and, and, and spawn. The rocks were strategically placed to create faster and slower currents where fish can move through or rest. Drayton Dam has always been a very um, popular fishing area. People would fish right below the dam. I think that it'll still have a, a fish attracting effect, but it's going to provide more um, fishing opportunities upstream as well. This project was in the works for many years and there were many partners involved. Corps of Engineers, Minnesota DNR, the Fargo Diversion, the city of Drayton. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.